Hello and welcome to the potential impacts of invasive forest pests and diseases in the Northeast walkthrough video. This project utilizes existing public tree inventories from municipalities throughout the Northeastern U.S. to develop a synthesis of the possible economic impacts of invasive pests and pathogens to enhance municipal planning and management. In this walkthrough, we will be previewing the features and products of this tool. On the overview page of this website, you will find summary information including the various regional partners that made this project possible, the methodology used to inform this assessment, and examples of how details of this project can be helpful. By clicking on the Tree Inventory Data tab at the top of this page, you will be able to get a more detailed look at the municipal tree inventory datasets this project contains. And by clicking on the municipal tree inventory names, you will be hyperlinked to the individual inventories project page on the FEMC data archive. Here you can find a description of the associated project, downloadable versions of the informing data sets, and the people associated with certain project features. In order to download a CSV file of this data set, you can click on this data set tab and go into the downloadable version. The Products tab at the top of the Urban Pests website page allows you to explore key content features such as an analysis and visual representations which have emerged from this assessment. By clicking on the cover image of the technical report, you will be directed to the project's paper written by FEMC staff. This report provides information about the development of the assessment and the way the data was analyzed to produce the municipality summaries. At the bottom of the Products page, you will find the necessary explanation to begin using the interactive map. For more detail on how to use this map, click on the information icon in the top left hand corner of the map. This text gives a summary on how this map uses ArcGIS to spatially represent the urban pest project and all of its data. The detailed steps on how to use this map can be found at the bottom of this information text. To view this map in a larger window, navigate back to the overview tab of the urban pests website. Scroll down to the interactive map cover photo and click here. The display that opens here enables users to select municipalities from the map or the attribute table. You may also search for a municipality by using the search bar at the top of the screen. To return to the map's original extent, click the home icon button. Filter by Map Extent button at the top of the Attributes table allows you to focus on a portion of the map that interests you. Here, the only values shown in the Attribute table will be those with the corresponding polygons in the current map extent. You can also filter the displayed rows in the Attribute table by clicking on the Options button at the top of the Attribute table. Here you can choose Expressions and Sets to filter the map. The Options button also allows you to sort by columns. By clicking on the column headings you see here with the blue checks. Now let's open up one of these projects to get a better understanding of what these polygons resemble. Perhaps we're interested in a municipality in central Vermont. By clicking on this tab, you can see the urban tree inventories in the municipality of Northfield in Washington County. This tab contains a link to the specific datasets project page on the FEMC archive. This tab also contains a link to the fact sheet specific to this municipality. For instance, here we can see that spotted lanternflies, emerald ash borers, Asian longhorn beetles, and gypsy moths were the pests of interest for the town of Northfield. For each invasive threat, the annual benefits provided by all potential host trees are summed into the total potential loss. In addition to the loss of benefits, the cost of replacing dead trees is estimated as the total structural cost. Together these values can be used to weigh the potential benefit losses and costs that a municipality may incur if the invasive pest or pathogen is not contained. This can be seen in the overview of tree inventory at the bottom of this page. These fact sheets can also be accessed from the Tree Inventory Data tab by clicking on one of the document logos associated with the town name. 
Now this concludes our walkthrough of the potential economic impacts of invasive forest pests and diseases in urban areas. For any questions on how to contribute data, or if you have any interest on expanding this project, please visit our website at www.uvn.edu or contact us at femc at uvm.edu.